Rump. Ready? Yep. Fishmonger Friday. Uh, what do we got? We're going to talk snapper. Uh, salt crusted, baked. Look. Here we go. I'll bring it over here for you. Look at this fish. This is a beautiful red snapper. Ochilango snapper coming out of the Baja. We went ahead and scaled it already. Uh, this fish will feed four people, three people, or two real hungry people that can eat a lot of fish. This is a great fish. So when you salt crust a fish like this, you get your kosher salt and your egg whites and you mix your egg whites and the kosher salt together and you make a paste and then you get the paste and you lay it in a glass pan and then you put the fish in it okay so you got the fish here's a couple of tricks pull the put the dorsal fins up like this and roll the fish into the salt and then pack the top of the fish with more salt leaving the dorsal fin like this you can stick a toothpick in here just like that, stick a toothpick. Just like this, into the salt on the bottom. Stick it in there like that, and stick another one in there like that, and it'll hold the dorsal fin up, and then you pack all the fish on this side of the toothpick so the dorsal fins are actually outside of the salt. I don't know, do you follow that? Was that good? Did they follow that? All right. So, when you do that, and you put the rest of the salt on there, and the dorsal fins are sticking out, the way to tell that your fish is done is by pulling on the dorsal fin, and if it's resistant, it's not done, and if it doesn't resist and it slides right out, your fish is done. It's kind of like one of those automatic poppers on the old Tom Turkey Butterball hip pops when you, it's done type thing. Showing my age there. So yeah. Whole fish, baked, salt. You can do snappers, corvina, small grouper. Um, I don't know, what else? How long would you bake it for? Until it's done and the dorsal spine comes out. Oh yeah, that's right, but approximately? Um, I'd make it hot, 425 degrees, and I'd do this fish for at least an hour and a half. And I'd preheat the oven at 400, then kick it up to 425. But check the dorsal fins, okay? It's really a cool little trick. I don't know, that's it. Fishmonger Friday tip of the week. There you go. Okay. Or something like that, I don't know. Anyways, eat some more fish, see you later. Have a great week.